Hey guys, Becky from Bex and Books here with my Friday reads, which is, means it's Friday, which is exciting, and a little bit of a book haul. So let us jump straight into what I plan on reading this weekend as well as this week. So let's do this. So currently I am reading Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, which is the first book in the Infernal Devices series trilogy. And I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than the Mortal Instruments. Um, I am up to book four in the Mortal Instruments, but I was told to read the books in uh, publishing order. So um, to read this one before book four, I believe. That's what I was told anyway by a bunch of people. So that is what I'm doing. And I am enjoying this so much more. Um, the characters are so much better. And the, the setting of it all, it just feels so much more magical and less similar to a lot of other books I've read so that is a bonus. I am about 140 pages into this chunker of a book so I am hoping to at least get a big chunk or at least it finished by this weekend and then I guess I'll see how I feel whether I actually want to jump straight into the book too of the infernal devices which is clockwork prints or i want to go into book four it just depends but let me know down below what i should do and if you guys feel the same way as my other people by saying read it in publication order uh so yes so the books i've kind of accumulated this past week because i can't control myself and i really don't stick to budget so let's just let's just move on over that hurdle so i got book two and book three in the infernal devices because i figured well since i'm enjoying the first one i might as well get the other two because the new covers have just come out in australia and i don't want them to discontinue the covers that i've already got because that would be just frustrating so clockwork prints and clockwork princess i am kind of disappointed that the spines aren't the same Though they are just as gorgeous as each other, it's just a bit disappointing. But these covers are absolutely stunning. So, yeah, and this one is like really, really chunky. It's like a chunky monkey. I don't know. I really hate checking the back of the books for like the page numbers just in case I spot something like so like out there at the end and you're just like, well, now I just spoiled myself. But yeah. So I have those two because why not? I also got The Night Circus, which is by Erin Morgan Stern. And I've heard such amazing stuff about this book. And I've always been intrigued by the cover of it. And I was watching some amazing booktubers, obviously, because that's what I do with my life besides reading and Netflix. <laughs> um, and a lot of people were doing reviews on this one. So I'm like... I love the way it sounds I'm going to get it so I can't exactly explain things properly so I'm not going to try and explain it to you it's about a circus at night you're welcome uh, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna plan on starting that one but we'll see how my moods take me but the book that I was most excited about getting and is probably one that I might even actually start this week because while I can't believe it I've been waiting a whole year for this book and then it completely went over my head when it came out and I was just like so oblivious to it when I saw people like oh look what I got and I'm like great everyone's getting an arc and it's like no actually it's a real edition it's out and I'm like holy crap I have to get to the bookshop so it is Glass Sword by Victoria Aviard and this is the sequel to Red Queen this cover is so pretty so pretty I love it it's so gorgeous and the first one is white and everyone was saying that they wanted it all to be white and I actually like how it's a whitish ombre blue sort of style and it's just as gorgeous as the first one and I love the different crown style and I just love this crown. I'm just, ah, wow, even when it's got red blood, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to start this this weekend after I have completed Clockwork Angel and go from there. I can't even stop looking at it. 
Other than that, I will be watching Netflix. I am doing a Shadow Hunter date night, if you will, with one of my friends, Bridget. Um, and she is just amazing. We've been watching every single episode of Shadow Hunters, except this Wednesday, we forgot. Even though she's over in a different state than me, we like text through the whole thing and we watch it exactly at the same time. And then we like just fangirl or hate on certain things that we did not like about it. Which is also one of the reasons I am reading the I started the Infernal Devices is because it had a bit of a mention of something that is in sorry my bunny ears I'm obsessed. Um that is in the Infernal Devices, so I'm like better get on it. So Yes, so I'm doing that tonight and I've also become really, really addicted to Just Dance. Uh, 2015 I've got and I'm waiting for 2016. So I've been doing a lot of that. I've been wanting to get back into dancing for a while now and it's such a great exercise workout thing. And that is what I basically plan on doing this weekend. I also need to catch up on tags from Instagram because I've been so slacking in that department so that is also what I'm going to do so if you do follow me on Instagram be prepared for major uploads of photos because I'm a bit behind and that's kind of awkward because yeah I mean I post every day it's just I don't post about my tags so oopsie anyways um, yeah, that is basically all I plan on doing. I'd love to hear what you guys are planning on doing this weekend yourselves. So let me know down below. Also, any recommendations, anything that you've read and you just want to be like, hey, read this one. Boom. You know where to put it down below on Instagram, on Twitter, whichever. My stomach is grumbling because I'm just like starving. Obviously, that's why it's grumbling. Thanks, Becky. Captain Obvious here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up if you want to share the love. So until next time, happy reading. Bye.